Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Toys to Trains. I'm Maya. Well, we got some good news and bad news. Uh, last night, we didn't put the video out, obviously, because we were out looking for the flex track. But the bad news is, is that the hobby stores that I go to, they didn't have um, any other flex track right now. So I'm kind of like, you know, stuck right now. But we're going to keep working forward here. And, I'm, and what I did was is I um, ended up finding my box that I had all my HO gauge stuff in. So I just thought I'd kind of show everybody like, um, you know, kind of the stuff that I was running on my um, HO, what kind of like box cars I had and, you know, things like that. So so we'll, we'll just get started here. Now, first of all, if you've ever uh, watched my channels, you know, in the past or whatever, and you've seen like a lot of my model railroad stuff, you know that I really like is like Chessy, uh, the Chessy system line and all that and everything. So I have two of them here in the HO ones. The uh, engine's like this, number 4137 in the Chessy. And that, like I said, that is a really... Uh, nice engine and i have another one too that is um uh been like beat up or whatever but i'm hoping that i can repair it i have one for ho and i know it's over there somewhere on the table but i have one for ho and i also have one for the g size scale and that's the next one too after i get this ho one done i'm kind of hoping that not g scale i mean um o scale uh the o and o 27 and um, I'm kind of hoping maybe to do that setup to the Lionel O version. I have a Chessy engine. Like I say, um, you know, kind of like this and everything. Um, this is another one, the 4137. I got two of them that are the two of them that are the same. What I like about these is is the uh, the Chessy you know kitten on the back and also on the side right here. But I got um, two of them that I was running on my board before. And now this one kind of had an accident. I ran it off the the thing. It still works. I mean, but it's just it's just um, it's it's been through some things. But I have um, a CP rail one like this, which um, that can always be fixed. I'm not I'm not too worried about that. And um, let's see what else do I have? I believe that was it for my engines. Yeah, that was it for the engines. Then I got. Uh, the big blue here for um, CSX, which which is a real simple one, real nice one though. I kind of like that one. I have um, the Sioux, the Sioux Canadian Pacific Railway. Now this one here I like too. I like the I like the um, the logo right here, the uh, beaver over the Canadian, you know, the, the maple leaf and all that. And I'm hoping to find that new version. Um, that they have out with the um, the Canadian Pacific and uh, Kansas City. I know there's been some, uh, the new logo, the gold logo, and I've seen it before. And it looks like a really, really nice one and all that. And I'm hoping to find, you know, some box cars like that too. You know, and again, I got another um, CSX one here. Uh, just a grain one, I believe. It's what, one, two, four port. It might be the grain. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, this one now, I, I like the color on this one, CP rail one here. I really like the color, but I also like the, the as I like to say, the Pac-Man logo, which is a really cool one. And then, um, now these two, I like also, I mean, I'm a fan of the old time, uh, the old stuff, like they say, the fallen, fallen flag ones. Um, I, I just grew up watching a lot of these cars going by and everything and that's why i like i say that's why i really like chessy and you know all these kind of ones like this but you got this one too it's uh the great northern western fruit express uh car and what i like about it is 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 the um the goat here on top of the the mountainside like that the great the the, the northern one and i believe i mean you can quote me somebody can tell me if i'm wrong down in the comments or whatever but I believe that uh, Great Northern was bought out, I think, by or was taken over by Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's who, who it is. But here's another one. 
the Great Northern, and then where's the which way am I going here? I'm gonna this way. Sorry, you know. And then this one too. It's got the uh, the goat with the with the logo. And like I say, that logo is uh, is uh, really sharp. I like I like that logo, but as much as I like the chessy one. And then on my when I had my bigger board one, I actually ended up picking these up. These were um, like kind of a special. There were three of them, and I don't know if they are consecutively numbered or how are they are numbered here. Let's see. No, they have different numbers. So I'm sure I'm sure if I was to find them again, you know, they probably would be different numbers. But again, you got the you got the uh, the Chessy right here, which I which I like the Chessy kitten, and then it's the C and O line, and these are coal hoppers. And when I was um, running these ones, I actually had like. Um, the fake coal pieces, you know, inside of them and everything. And I, like I said, I ran them like that. And there's three of them. I'll just kind of show everybody there. But there's the second one and the third one like that. There was the three in the set like that. And the set really wasn't that expensive. But it uh, was just something that I liked and everything. And then finally, now I know, like I say, by today's standards, you know, everything was replaced by Fred. And that's all good and everything. But I like I say, again, I like the old school look. I like the old school, um, you know, how things were and everything back in the day. So I ended up getting, um, I found this one at a train show, I believe, or something like that. But it's um, the Chessie System C&O uh, caboose here. And like I say, I, I really like it. I wish I could find one with the B&O one. Um, because when I collect the Chessie System stuff, I end up trying to find like the CNO, the BNO, um, you know, things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, looking through the rest of my stuff here, um, I don't have, like I say, too much more in here. All I got is all my track in here and everything. But like I say, I'm hoping that they get um, some more of that flex track back in stock because um, I really want to get this board going again and everything and i'd like to say i'd like to bring everybody along uh showing everybody like you know how i'm going to do this i might though if i can't get a flex track uh two two flex track pieces um i might just end up trying to do like a figure eight with a crossover in the middle um you know figure something out because i gotta figure out how i'm going to get it onto this table and make it actually where it can i can at least run one um you know one setup maybe have like two of them you know sitting you know like one sitting on a side a siding branch or something you know where i can like switch it out every now and then like either run um either run the 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 chessy and like park the cp or i might just do like one freight one where um uh what i'm saying uh, one freight one and maybe like metra amtrak something like that um, it all depends on, like I say, how much I can, um, you know, get this table or either add to this table or figure some kind of configuration out. And like I say, if anybody's watching this and you've made it this far in the video, you know, if, if you got any ideas like, um, you know, if, like if you had setups before or something, um, you know, if you did it for like a, like a kid or something or whatever, if you got any ideas on how, you know, you can do it on a table size like this. It's an eight foot table, just, you know, a regular table. I mean, I do have a four foot that I can add to this, but you know, if there's like any ideas that maybe somebody else has, you know, share them in the comments below and I'll, you know, get back to you and everything. But like I say, um, you know, I, I'm just trying to figure out a way that I can do this and, you know, kind of show everybody, like I say, we're going to do um, our building again, you know, and I still have the wood pieces from, the original, um, I believe it was the original H01, you know, where we use these as our uh, base and everything. And I'm gonna use this to create uh, one of the, you know, the platforms again, the walkways, um, things like that. Um, you know, I got a bunch of the track all in here yet. You know, I've got uh, uh, electrified switches like this, you know, that we can hook up. I can do a, a um, uh, like a, like a, uh, what do you call that? Like a demonstration on this, you know, showing how to like, you know, hook these up and everything. And like I say, back in the day, I actually had this where it was all, like I say, it was all done on one side of the table. I had um, like, like 
below the side of the board there, I had everything wired in and I could just sit there and like start the trains up and run like one one way, one the other, you know, kind of deal like, like you know, parallel like this. And if I really got creative, I could see like where the trains were and I could like flick the switches, like just sitting like I am right here. I could flip the switches, you know, run them, run them across each other. But I also had the system where um, it relied on the um, the signal lights. Um, and I know I've got one. I have one here. This is an old beat up one. But, you know, this is the kind of uh, like signal lights I was running like this kind. But I got all different kinds that I've done. This is just the one way, the one direction where you've got like the red on the bottom. I think it's yellow and green or something like that was the wiring set up for this. But I had two. I also had the uh, bi-directional ones where I had, uh, this one's broke, like I say, but you know, I had the one facing this way and then the other one facing on the other side like this. And they worked. I mean, they would actually stop the train, you know, far enough back or not far enough back, but like right before the point there. And like I say, that's another thing that I'm hoping that I can um, show everybody how to do is like that um, that wiring, you know, set up. So you, you get like um, a more realistic, you know, like thing. In other words, like, I know like a, some of them, like if you have it wired and I know this, like when I first started doing this, I'll just make it real quick. But the, when the train would go over it, you know, it would flip the red, but then the minute the train would hit like the next uh, one or two pair of tracks, it would then turn to yellow, turn to green. So the train was still going by and it was green. Well, over the years, I've learned how to um, like correct that problem. And like I say, hopefully, you know, videos down the road, I'm going to show everybody, um, you know, how to do that and everything, you know, kind of deal. Um, you know, I might just, I might just end up too, if I can't, I was just sitting here thinking about this. I might just, if I can't, if I can't find no flex track, I might just set up like, um, like four, four or five straight lines. And I can just show everybody like, you know, something like that. Like how to um, how to do the wiring, you know, for for the the light systems, um, you know, how we'll build the building, how we'll make stuff from scratch, all that stuff. I might just end up doing that if I can't find, like I say, if I can't find um, a flex track or anything like that. But so, all right, everyone. Well, I try to make the video short, and this one kind of got out of hand. But uh, thanks for watching, and like I say, um, I'm gonna try to start this week and get another video out on our trains. And like I say, hopefully they get the flex uh, track in. So, all right, everyone. Well, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you here in the next video. Bye, everyone.